Hey guys, um, it's been a few days since I've been able to film, um, I know I had some videos that were already filmed, so you probably didn't see the big lapse, but, uh, last Friday, my son got sick, and then, um, that morning woke up, didn't feel well. By that afternoon, had like 102, over 102 fevers. Um, I took, I was taking care of him, uh, going, you know, doctors, this and that, and then I got it. And we both went back yesterday. I went in yesterday and he went in. And um, so if I sound kind of hoarse and everything, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I tested positive for uh, the flu type A, the new one that's going around. I was had an appointment yesterday to get my flu shot, but I went in and had gotten it. So, um, but anyways, uh, so if I happen to wheeze or I sound hoarse because. And not only that, I have um, other, like, lung infection, other things on top of the flu going on. But, so, I have a, a baby here. I cut open the top. This baby's been here for, oh my goodness, about six weeks. <laughs> and I was like, I gotta get to this baby. This baby is a special baby. I, like, I have some babies in my collection that, um, some are from estate sales, like someone, and then they list it on eBay, or, well, there's your Christmas chair, <laughs> my other phone, um, like, I've had some, you know, where someone passed, and, like, their mom passed, and they ended up selling dolls, so it's kind of like, to me, like, I'm adopting them, you know, rescuing, I, I don't know. It's, so this one was um, on eBay, but it was uh, New uh, Goodwill of New England. And so they did have the sculptor, and I will get to that, who it is. It's a sold out limited edition. Kit cannot get it, so I was like, mm. and I just asked them, you know, being goodwill, could you please wrap it um, securely? So, you know, because they don't really know about, you know, reborns and all that. But looks like they put it in a, okay, we have an invoice here. They put pictures. Uh, their description was at least it's um, Goodwill of New Eng Northern New England, and I live in New England, but they're in, located in um, Gordon, Maine. So um, let me see. Yeah, October eleventh of twenty twenty two. Mhm. So. This, uh, the sculptor, I will tell you, is Alicia, Alicia Toner. So then I went on, um, you know, looking at the different websites that sell sculpts, like McPherson's and all that, to find out who it is, but we'll get to that. So this is, um, the only thing this baby is wearing is a onesie in the photo, and maybe a diaper, so... Don't know if it's going to be wrapped in a blanket or anything. So I brought out diaper, clothes, some water wipes to wipe the baby down, um, a blanket, a sleeper. Yeah. Okay. This baby is just. Let me take some of this This baby is just in a bunch. Excuse the noise. 
my goodness, I should have muted that. Oh, this baby's heavy. Okay, let me check. There's nothing else in here. So we're going to do this kind of as like a box opening slash a blanket reveal. So I have this beautiful blanket, which I love this blanket. It's like fuzzy on one side, but the other side, it looks like it's almost etched, like engraved in. And it's wrapped with like a satiny. So we're going to lay this out. I'm not going to look at any details. I'm just going to wrap her quick. Go on. She's got a pink onesie on, so we're going to say her. Okay. I just wrapped her quick. I didn't even look at the face or anything. So we're going to see this all at the same time. That way, let me see if I can tilt this down anymore. If you're going to tilt. Oh, come on, tripod. It's not that way. Okay, let's tilt a little bit this way. Okay. There, now we can see it good. <clears throat> so... You're going to see what, as I see it. And then we'll go who the sculptor is. So I did, like I said, because I, you know, coming from Goodwill. So someone donated this baby. And I found one at my local Goodwill that a local collector um, donates babies. And I found real reborns there. But this one, like I said, I got to need it. Wow, very nice painting. Look at the, whoops, I'm trying to see what you're seeing too. The nails are tipped. Very nice details in the sculpt. Mottling. So water wipes are the safest. And you can tell what, because um, even on scented wipes, yeah, this, the water wipes, you don't give any, any scent. I've tried unscented baby wipes just to gently wipe down a baby and I had, um, with the matte sealant, it'll give, like, this rotten egg smell. I'm just trying to make sure that, oh, so there's no, she has no, um, look at the modeling. I don't know, the flash on, I'm using a different camera, or a different phone. But you can't see it on, you can see her toes. I mean, she has great mottling and everything. Full legs. So on this, oops, on this leg, look, it looks like goo because of the glue of it. Okay, that's just, and it's just got a little bit of tape. So they, that was like their skew. Lifelike reborn, newborn baby doll. In onesie, and they listed it on 10 3 2022. Like that's like they're skewing. If I can get it off, <laughs> it's I had a little piece of scotch tape too, and I'm like trying to get it unstuck off my finger. So it did leave a little, but that'll wipe right off. I had someone ask, like, why are you? Wiping down a baby, you're making it look shiny for the video. And I'm like, I'm cleaning it to make sure, you know, as I'm opening it. Like, see this brown, this dark spot that was underneath there? To make sure the ink didn't come through that, you know, it's going to come off. And she's smooth. She's really nice and smooth. She doesn't have, I don't like the rough, um, you know, matte varnish, like sealant little chubby underneath the legs here a lot of details she's very soft very soft um, vinyl it looks like one leg yeah one leg is a little bit longer 
start trying to get this angle here. Let me see if I can back the back up on the table a little bit. One leg is a little bit the way they're positioned longer than the other, so you can go like that. You know what I mean? It's just the it's just a smidge of the way that they're angled. So let's yeah, and it's just a pink onesie. Um, it does have a nice body where it is this little bit of cap here in the body. So you have a ring here instead of trying to turn it just here. So, I mean, she's very easy to turn her legs so you can set her nicely. She is a big baby. But we are going to take this onesie off. Yeah, she does have a diaper, a Huggies, size one. We're just gonna pop that off because we're gonna put her just. I just brought out a sleeper and um, a new Huggies. The Huggies special edition came out with some Disney ones, and they're like a bunch of different prints of the Hunter One Dalmatians. So I just grabbed one of those quick. So she does have some really good, I can feel it's, um, oh yeah, her waiting. She has glass bead. You can feel that. It's really nice. She, it's all the way up to here in her thighs. Uh, she has a really good quality doe suede. I mean, you can tell, like, this was a collector baby. It wasn't, like, beat around, you know. Um, she has a nylon sack right here in her bum. She has a little crease in her bum. So I do like this style of body because it's uh, easier to dress and it's it just looks more proportionate. And especially when you go to sit them, you know, they'll set up because being a bigger baby. Alright, so let's get to the arms. So this hand is closed. You can see the, the darker depth right in her palm and her nails are tipped. I need to get some more water wipes here. I got a ton of these packs. I, I was getting um on the Target Bay registry. Every time I placed an order, it was like five cents because of my registry to add one to your order. It's, it's like so you get like lotion and bottles and wipes and. But these water wipes are great for babies, for the reborns. As long as they're sealed. You don't want to do this if they're not sealed. But it's just a quick, gentle way just to wipe them down. You know, they've been um, in someone else's collection. They've been at, at Goodwill. But someone was kind enough to donate this baby. Oh my goodness. This baby... Like, we were just talking about it earlier. A lot of people, I got another one coming on the way that someone mislisted it under a different type of doll and didn't, and that's a sold out doll limited edition with the COA and everything and didn't know, like, the value of that baby. That baby will be here in a day, day or two, tomorrow or the next day. So, look at her hand. I just love... I'd like to know who the artist was, though. This one doesn't have a COA, but I know who the sculpt is. I mean, it's, it's an authentic sculpt. So, you can see her body is fine. There's nothing on her body. No stains, no odors, nothing. They're really good with um, their feedback. Okay, her body up here has the same, and her arm has a little cap piece which it's so it's not like a big gap you don't have like that football shoulder and it turns easily i just love that hand because you know they could hold your fingers hold the toy okay best part let's get to oh, i just felt the edge of a zip tie yeah the only thing i noticed is this uh they're the bigger zip ties 
add the tiny ones, but that's an easy fix. I just stocked up on two 50-pound bags of glass bead, so I'm going to be sharing that in a video. An affordable place to get glass bead right now, and it benefits veterans. You know, like vets from our... So, are you ready? The best part. Her face. See if y'all can tell who this baby is. Oh my goodness. Oh, she's so cute. Hold on, let's take this onesie off. And this was a Gerber onesie, newborn five to eight pounds, but she's definitely like a... Wait, I just seen a mark on her body. Uh, that is just a little marker or something. I don't know. It's a little mark from maybe the clothes. But um, I do have extra bodies if I ever want to change it out. Or Plus my Drift Infant Stain Spray. I could spot that out. So let's look over her head. I did see a couple little defects. Um, so... Her face, she has the cutest double chins. She has like a, a partial open mouth. You can see, you can see like a little tongue in there. I love that she has that little, you know, babies have where it's lighter right there, the little bubble lip, you know, in the front of their lips. Um, her nose is partially open. It's not opened. All the way, it's just, um, like, shaded. She is close-eyed. She does have rooted lashes. Creasing very light eyebrows. I don't want to rub that. The only thing I noticed in the photos, so now I have her in person, I can see her better. Wow, she's big. She's, like... 22, 23 inches is, um, she does have mottling and stuff, but there's like not holes, not holes all the way through or anything. There's a few little dents. There's like one, two, three, four. Like, there's a little scuff here. It's, I don't know if like someone was gonna attempt to reborn or to root. Or, I don't know, but it was, it, it's not all the way through. It's like little, a couple little dents. So I'm like, if I wanted to root her, I could. So, because this is a sold out, I mean, I'm trying to put her, let's see if I can put her in the whole frame. She is a big, big girl. Oh, and look at the ears. Oh my goodness, like... Her ears are, sorry. I'll have to get right in there with a Q-tip and everything. It's just a little dusty. But I feel bad, like, you know, was her mom, you know, a collector and then passed away? I think, think about that sometimes, like, where would my dolls go? I thought maybe her head was, like, squished this way. But <laughs> she's like, don't do that to me. But it isn't. It's just the shape, like, she has an egg like a longer head. My son had that too. Like, um, so let's look at the back of her neck. And it says right there, Alicia Toner, 2014. And you see, it looks like, I don't know if you can see it on camera. It looks a little shiny on her head, like the matting. But, um, there's like a little ridge, like you can feel it little line like maybe she was leaning against something you know that that does happen over time you know but um this baby is what eight years this sculpt is eight years old and you can't get it anymore and so i looked up alicia toner and i will show you who she is let's see if it doesn't glare she is the Adelaide by Alicia Toner, which is totally sold out. And let's go to her details. They show an um, AA version of her, but they show other ones. Like, 
This kit is, oh my goodness. I just love that hand. So you can see, like, she is a big girl. And I was like, well. And can you imagine? She's already nicely painted with, you know, dark rooted hair. She would be, oh my goodness. So, she was at an affordable price that I want her at. And, you know, I'm going to fix the body. And, I mean... You know, she's floppy. She's cuddle floppy, but, you know, you want to, especially coming from, um, like, Goodwill or basically any babies, you know, pre-loved, unless it's, like, your best friend that you knew, you know, and you want to re weigh them or whatever. I always open my babies, but just for tonight, I'm going to just dress her quickly, and then we're going to see what she looks like. But we always customize our babies. I don't even know if she has a magnet pacifier. You know. But um. Also for sanitary reasons. I mean, she's like. Oh I like my little. Baby. <laughs> so size one does. Fit her that way. It, you know. It's not in the way of her legs. Her legs move so well. Like at both joints. At the hip here and. Here, so you can, oh no, they're tight there, with the, so that's like, at the hips, but you can, you know, because I change the zip ties, I can adjust it where I can move them here as well, well, yeah, they do, okay, I take that wrong, I did, but it's just not as easy, but, I mean, they do, but her details are really, she's painted very well, very well. So, I just grabbed, I think I grabbed too big of a sleeper. I thought she was going to be a lot bigger. I grabbed this little one. Um, just has, it looks like a kitty, but it says B is for bunny. And it's when I bought, I got tons and tons from Dollar General. Had a huge sale because they're selling out all their clothing like 80, 90% off. <laughs> So this is three to six months, um, a brand new sleeper. So I figured that she would be three to six months. I didn't grab a onesie. But like I said, it's just for tonight until I customize her. I'm lucky I have this much voice. I didn't have any voice. Like I'm also dealing, dealing with, um, I had to go rush the... They wanted me to go right into the hospital. I'm like, no, I got my son at home. And then, uh, they wanted me to, um, let me see, I'm going to move the camera to an overview so you guys can see while she's getting dressed. i got to crank it up here. So my doctor wanted me to go right in the hospital, and I'm like, nope, can't do that. I have my son. It's not possible. This thing is not tilting. It's supposed to. I gotta work on this new tripod. It's got a different thing to it. Let's go down a pinch. Okay, so at least you can see her. Let's turn her face. So you guys can see her as I dress her. Look at that little face. She's like, I thought her head was like squished this way a little bit, but it isn't. It's just, I think if she had a, oh, I did bring out a headband. What did I do with that? Did I drop that? I'll find it in a second. I did bring out a headband. So she could, because I knew she was a little baldy. So, um, my doctor wanted me to stay right at the hospital. Or go right to the hospital. And I said, oh, no, no, no. I can't do that. So I had to go in at 8.30 this morning. I had to get a babysitter. Jake was still sleeping. And they had to wear a mask to protect them. Because Jake's been sick. And I'm... He came out negative for the flu. Because they're saying that 
he's worked through the antibi any antibodies or whatever aren't showing up in his anymore. But um, obviously, I got it from caring for him, caring for him. You need a little more stability there, girly. And so, thankfully, um, she thought it was a blood clot, but it's. I got a cellulitis infection in one of my legs from fluid retention. Oh my goodness, like, and then complication with catching the flu with my COPD. Sit there for just one second, girly. I know I just brought out. Yep, it's right here. I ordered these from AliExpress. A big pack of them, and I got. Kitty was playing with stuff. Kitty got some furs on it when I was just. I sat it there. I love these um, stretchy. There's almost like thin, like soft nylon neoprene. Uh, they they call them. It's not just a headband. It's like a head wrap, bandana, or I can't think of it right now. She's like, you're trying to cover up my big ears. <laughs> I know, yesterday AliExpress me did an error in my favor. I ordered, um, they have like sales right now. It's... They've had it for like a month now. Dollar ninety nine each item, and you have to buy three items like out of this whole category. You just scroll and click three, and then cash out. Well, <coughs> I got these little blue and white striped, and then solid baby blue socks and scratch mitten set, and they're the really nice material, like stretchy, nice socks. And men's so I was like hmm that's a good deal so I ordered you can only get choose one of each thing so I did one of the blue for the boy which was a four-piece set so you got two pairs of socks and two pairs of matching mittens from each one and then I got click one for the girl and then um, this other little electronic device well she's like I'm like slumped over here I didn't even bring out a magnet pacifier she could almost, she could do a modified password. Look how deep her mouth is. Like, I know she's looking shiny right now because it's wiped her off, but. She's like, I'm glad that I got a new mama. She's like, you hit my ears. <laughs> you, she says, I got a little egghead. Yes, I do. But, um, so I opened the package and it was like, the package was like this, you know what I mean? And it was just like that thick. I'm like, why is it so thick? And of course, you know, you get all these different bags from, you know, like poly mailer bags from AliExpress. You don't know which one's what until you open it. So I opened it and look at her. She's so cute. Let me know what you guys think of her. Um. She's like, my body's not that puffy, but this, but her feet are like, there's just a little bit extra in the sleeper space. So, um, I opened the package and it was the four pack of the Blue Boy socks, the little electronic device, and ten four packs of the girl sock sets with the men's. And I'm like, What? They're supposed to send me one of those sets. No, they sent me this huge package of ten. And I'm like, okay, that was in my favor. And then today I get a package and it was supposed to be a lot of the smaller, like, American Girl, Our Generation, My Life Doll um, size clothes. And the other items were correct in it that I bought. But, um, you know, because it shows, like, what's all shipped together, different orders. They've been doing that, you know, shipping orders together. I'm trying to, like, position her so you can see her. 
I just love that open hand. This one's like a closed fist. And, um, so, hang on, I got brain fog. I'm on Theraflu, steroids, you name it. And on, like, a couple 20-minute cat naps, I was, like, not sleeping, taking care of Jake, and then I got sick and I haven't been sleeping, and then, oh, my goodness. Um... Oh, so I opened the other package, and I'm like, okay, I'm checking through, like, okay, that's the right item. And then I go in and, you know, on the app, and click that I received it, or whatever, and you review, or whatever. So, I get to this last little package, and, you know, it's a big poly mailer bag of a lot of little packages. And I get to the last one, I open it, and I'm unwrapping bubble wrap, and I'm like, what is this? And it's like these little tiny miniature food like a little basket like you went to a picnic with little fruit in it like a couple little things and I go on the site and it shows what was in that order and that same seller and I look at their site and they had that kind of little they even had little tiny pretend like Barbie size little pampers you know like the package you know fake package and I was like well what is going on? And I had spent like $14 in their store on socks. Um, the our gener Just one pair of white for the our generation size dolls. Because I have other dolls, you know, and I'm buying outfits for her. And my son has a micro preemie. You know, and I'm using those because those size clothes fit. And one was like a full, like fuzzy unicorn outfit. One was like a full with the little booties. Um, uh, my Little Kitty, or, yeah, My Little Kitty, I can't even think, <laughs> I'm thinking My Little Pony, My Little Kitty, so, uh, Hello Kitty outfit, and a couple other ones, because I got a little pretty Reborn that I want to open, I wanted to put it together, and then put outfit, you know what I mean, like, I tried to get it all together, and, so I went and filed, you have to go and click File Dispute, I have not received, and then it was like, dispute finished within minutes and it said refund zero I'm like what so then I had to reapply the dispute and the only thing they had was not as descri not as description or whatever because that's what it was you know and then I I have to like wait like I like express and I had to upload I, I upload photos and everything of, you know, hey, I bought these four doll and had you have to open four different disputes for those four different items all from the same seller and I messaged the seller too and I'm like No, I'm not <laughs> So it's like one day it was in my favor and the next day it was like not in my favor. But um she's in my favor. She says I've been waiting like really? I've been waiting. So Alicia Toner is a I mean, I haven't seen her sculpt in a long, like, a while. Any new sculpts. But, um, I know I have, I'm trying to think of the, one of the famous sculpts of hers that I have that she was popular for. But, they're very detailed. And, I mean, you can see, like, the little tongue inside. And she already has dark rooted, so some dark rooted hair, oh my goodness. Or she could just be a hot baby. But let me know what you guys think, because affordable baby details, I mean, the kit alone was $100. And I'm just going to say I got her at an affordable price. And that was just... And it's a kit you can't ever get again. And she's painted very well. I know my flash is making her look shiny. Because I had just wiped her down. Um, but I love that little bud there. Like some babies have that where it's lighter. So I don't know who her artist is. But they did a very good job. Especially um, her mottling and her fingers. I can't believe like... It's not showing up on here, I'm telling you. This camera is not doing it justice. And the details in the sculpt as well. 
So, she is a cuddle bug, and she is a good sized baby. And let me see. Let me put her back here sitting up. Let's see. I gotta close the base of my tripod there. It was caught on the table leg. You can see the size of her. She is. Okay, we'll say to the pack of wipes. But she's long. So she's not like a toddler. She's like a. I mean. And she's proportioned on her body. Like the length of her body, the joints of her body. I like all that. She is a sweet baby. Um. But she's like, she could wear, you know, a big three-month size clothes. So she's going to be fun to dress. And I'm going to have to test out to see if she has a uh, magnet pacifier. If she doesn't, I can do that myself, obviously. And I'm going to open her up and put all new polyfill and all that. So... But for tonight, I just wanted to wipe her down quick, unbox her, and um, she's like, yeah, because I am sick of sleeping in that box, <laughs> and I got siblings that need to get out of their boxes. Mommy needs to get better. Earlier, I, w I had no voice at all, so I was like, I want to unbox the baby, so I'm just going to try and wing it. Hopefully, I don't cough, or because earlier, I was like, I, I, like, I literally couldn't talk, and... Um, friend of mine's like, oh, it's okay, just call me for a minute, and I said, I sound like a frog, like, it was that bad, I, like, um, I lose my voice when I get sick, you know what I mean, so it's like, I get really hoarse, all right, so, um, stay blessed, stay beautiful, as usual, Dolly hugs and let me know in the comments below. Also, I noticed on my analytics, 60, what did it say, 68.6% of my viewers, people that watch my videos, are not subscribed. And I'm like, please, like, subscribe because it's like, I have giveaways coming up and... I like to build the community of, you know, chatting and knowing each other. And if you see something that you enjoy, and, and it says that they're repeat watchers, and I'm thinking, that doesn't make sense. So, and it's funny, like, you can see, like, what country watches you more, or, and it fluctuates and stuff, but I was like, 60-something percent is not subscribed that had watched like in the last 28 days and I was like wow you know sometimes you'll get new ones like like when I do a Jeffree Star unboxing or you know a mystery thing and everybody's searching it okay and they see like okay it's like I have two audiences well actually three like one like for deal hauls and stuff and then one for like the reborn and doll hobby and then another one for, like, the makeup hobby. And, you know, so it's kind of like... I have a multi-platform channel, so... People, um, watch for different ones, but... Subscribe, hit subscribing is free. And I'm only two away... Two subscribers away from another small milestone. So I'm like... Um... I'd like to hit another milestone. Because, um been planning the 2k giveaway and trying to um we've been trying to well i've had it planned i have the prize here for a christmas giveaway and i'm like i gotta get that done and like getting sick at the same time so <laughs> it's just uh wish us well um prayers are accepted thank you very much um, I know I have a couple friends out there praying for me and Jake, and I'm, I know we're blessed, though, um, 
because there's so many people that are so, you know, have a so much harder time or, um, but when you are down and out and you have 103 feet, what was that? Mine was like 103.6, yeah. And I just, my hands were numb and ice cold and I hurt all over. And at the same time, I'm hurting so bad, I'm trying to help a child. And thankfully, he was, you know, starting to get a little bit better because I was three days with him with ice packs and tepid showers. And oh my goodness. So. A diet of popsicles, slushies, and crackers, and, <laughs> like, a cracker was like a sirloin steak, you know what I mean, when you, you've been living on liquids. <coughs> so, let me know, this, again, this was, uh, out of, di out of line, I know, let me see, yes, no, Adelaide. A-D-E-L-A-I-D-E -E -E by Alicia Toner. And this one, that, I love this one with the dark hair. The AA one's beautiful too. but And she has that same, see the sculpt has that little lip bulb. And that's why her artist, I don't know who her artist is to give credit to, but uh, she did a wonderful job. She did that same light there. But she's like, I'm still pretty as a body. Yes, yeah, I'm so cute. <laughs> but, um, let me know what you guys think. She is a cuddle book. I haven't even held her yet. Let me see. Oh, yeah, she's, uh, not only in your arms, but, like, you put your her, her head on your shoulder, and she's so long that her legs are almost at your waist, like her feet, but she, like, literally, well, cuddle right up, like, you could pose her, she can be fun for photos, I mean, so, she's like, I'm gonna be one of mommy's cuddle bugs, <laughs> I have a few that are, I'm like, I put in PJs, and I have some that I dress up, and then some I just like in PJs because they're my cuddle bugs. It's funny. But, alright. So, that's who she is. And she is long sold out. So, she was a great find. And with that said, stay blessed. Stay beautiful. Stay healthy. Hopefully. And like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments. Um, have you ever gotten anything? Have you ever found a reborn in Goodwill? I have one, I, like I said, and I do have a video on that, the baby I found. And, um, what do you think? Do you feel emotional when you, um, Oops, my light went out. I thought it stopped. I was going to say, do you feel emotional when you find out, like, the baby you adopted was in a state sale, like, someone passed away or whatever? Like, it makes you want to get that baby to, like, I don't know. I've always been sentimental like that, even as a child with dolls. I'll save that story for another day, because this video's ran long. So if you made it to the end of this video... Leave a uh, purple heart emoji. Okay. So let, you, let me know that you've watched to the end. Leave a purple heart emoji in the comments. And let me know if what you think about this baby. Um, and my, the other questions I asked. And let me know... Um, do you have any baby, you know, are you familiar with Lisa, Alicia Toner as a sculptor? And, uh, if you were to name this baby, what would you name her? She kind of reminds me her face 
of the Robin scope. Because Robin has her tongue sticking out. My very first Reborn. And I still have her. She's uh, by Bonneville Baby. Um, Robin by Marissa. I want to say Marissa. Oh my goodness, I can't think of her name. But she has her tongue sticking out. And she has that similar face right now with... Not seeing like her long, elongated head, just the rounding right here. I'm looking through the camera, that's what she reminds me of. So maybe that's what attracted me to her. But it's like the way that they just had her flailed out, like laying displayed in the photos. And I'm like, I can rescue that baby. And she's so cute. You know what I mean? So she needs to go to my Dolly Hospital. So anyways, I'm going to say goodnight. Thank you. And stay blessed and I happy holiday season and we have a lot more vlogmas coming so we're gonna struggle through this sickness we're gonna get through it because we have not one not two but three Christmas trees different themes to put up uh, giveaways planned we have a lot going on so stay blessed and happy hauling and dolly hugs